Well, today I just announced to our team that we were hiring a new CEO to take over the company that I founded over 10 years ago. And I want to talk about what that means and what that's like for you entrepreneurs out there. All right, welcome back. My name is Ethan. If you haven't seen my videos or my channel before, I talk about a lot of things that uh, I think can help people in their lives, whether they are entrepreneurs or they're looking to improve their finances or any area of their life. And today I want to talk about what it's like to be a founder who hires a CEO. So I've been in my business now for almost 20 years. I started uh, my software project about 20 years ago, the first 10 years of it, I did work on that project for free. It was just a hide, uh, you know, side hobby project for me for many years. And about 10 years ago, I decided to commercialize it. And you know, when I when I started, it was just me in my small one bedroom apartment, and I had all these big dreams and goals for it. And, it, and part of me was I knew I could do it, but part of me was just thinking that it was an impossible task that I would never achieve. And fortunately enough, I you know I figured out a way to actually get started and to grow my company from just me to a couple of people and then continue that process and hire more people over the years. And I've learned a lot along my path of being an entrepreneur. Uh, I've grown in many different ways. I've had a lot of successes, but also a lot of failures and a lot of shortcomings as well. That's just part of the learning process when you've done something for the first time. And you entrepreneurs out there uh, who have been running your own company have done this before know what I'm talking about. And for those of you who are looking at becoming an entrepreneur, um, you're going to run into a lot of roadblocks too, but that's part of the learning process of, of running your own business and being your own boss and creating your own company. And for any of you who are thinking about doing that, it is such a rewarding experience. I would definitely recommend that you do it. It's one of the best things I ever did in my life. Uh, not only will it bring you financial prosperity if you hit on the right business and you follow through with your passion and you put all your work into it and it's something that works, not everything is gonna work, but when it does, it can really help you out financially. But also, beyond the financial success, it will help you grow as a person. It will help give you more confidence and just take you places in life that you never thought you could get. <clears throat> It is such a rewarding experience for me to to be able to work with a, a number of talented people to go through the experiences of hiring people. Uh, uh, all the stuff that comes along with being an entrepreneur is just phenomenal. And I, I've made another video that you'll find on my channel where I talk about um, needing an exit plan for your company. And there are multiple ways that people you know, set up an exit plan. Some people don't employ an exit plan. They plan on running their, their, their business until basically they retire and that's okay. Uh, for me, I never wanted to pursue an exit plan where I ended up selling the company. I always felt like I wanted to build something that was long lasting and something that I could, you know, know would be around in 20, 30, 40 years if, if I could make that work. And so the exit plan that I chose for my company is to allow myself to step back from the day to day operations of the company and by hiring a CEO, somebody who has more experience than I do in growing companies beyond uh, you know, a certain stage. I certainly love the position of being a founder and an entrepreneur because I love that initial drive, the scary ride, the passionate drive that, that you have when you start something. You're full of energy, you're full of passion. It's a terrifying experience, but also very exhilarating. And I love that part of starting a business, that, that founder's perspective of starting something new from nothing. But once the company grew to a certain size, I knew that it had, it had really outgrown me. I, I found for myself that I, I kind of I was in this place of not knowing actually what my role was in the company anymore. I knew I was in charge of leading the company and it, it, its major direction in the future. But there were a lot of things that, that I felt like I didn't know how to do and that frankly I didn't want to do that I knew were necessary to grow the company beyond where it currently was. And that is the point that I made the decision to go out and start a search for a CEO, somebody who has the experience and who is capable of growing the company from where it is right now uh, to where it can go in the future. And I see great things, great potential for the future of my company. But that has allowed me, that exit plan has allowed me to be able to step back and do other things that I enjoy in life. And one of the one of the things that I enjoy is this passion project, creating videos, creating content to help other people. And by hiring a CEO, I'm able to step back and spend more time doing that. And I really find that enjoyable. And so I'm looking forward to helping all of you out in different areas 
however I can, whether it be uh, helping give you some advice on being an entrepreneur or helping to improve your financial education, helping you become a better investor or helping you view yourself in the world in a different, better light. I have a, a great passion for that. I've learned from a lot of different people. I continuously learn and I'd like to pass on some of the things that I've learned over the past couple of years with you in the hopes that it helps to bring you more success and happiness in life. So anyway, I just want to make a quick video on what it's like to hire a CEO. It's really phenomenal experience. It uh, It's also scary and it's also a little bit sad as well. When you end your journey of, of leading a company, uh, there's a little sense of loss. And I certainly have felt that as well because I've been in charge of running the ship for so many years and now somebody else is coming on board to take that lead. I'll still be around as an advisor, but it's still it's not the same thing. It's a little bit different. Um, but for me, it's a very exciting phase of my life where I can move on to uh, additional exciting things in my life and helping other people. And that is so important to me. So if you are an entrepreneur, you just know that if you succeed and you can, even though it might take a while, constantly learn as you go along your path of entrepreneurship and you can get to a place where you you succeeded I get to a point in the future where you, you can, if you want, hire somebody else to run your business. Uh, no matter what their title is, whether it's general manager um, or CEO, it doesn't matter. If you can get to the point where you can hire somebody else to run your company, you will uh, have attained a great deal of freedom in your life. So it's something to, something to think about uh, for your future uh, planning for as an entrepreneur, looking at hiring somebody if that's what you want for your exit plan. No matter what you want, for the long term of your company, that's okay. That's your decision as a founder. Um, it's your it's your baby, it's your project. So that's up to you. But this, this is my path. And I gotta tell you, it is a, certainly a rewarding experience to bring in somebody who has so much more experience to take over the project. And that has given me a great deal of flexibility. So I, I look forward to connecting with you guys again in the future on videos like this. If you like the content that I put out, I would certainly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, uh, like my page on Facebook. That gives me motivation to produce more videos that are helpful for people. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I know you've got a lot of things to do. Uh, everybody's busy in this modern world. And uh, I know you've got a lot of things in your plate. So thank you again for watching. And until later, I wish you all the best of luck in everything that you do. Thank you.